Hello all, today we are going to create the user defined function box. Here you can see the user defined function box. For getting that or creating that, you have to go to the task and the user defined function block and you have to right click and create a new user defined function block. Now I'm gonna create a DOL starter. So I have to use the I have to create logic for the DOL starter inside the user defined function block first. Uh, and you can see NONC contacts for the start and stop push buttons and there comes with the output and the output latch also we have to make it as parallel then I have to draw it with a pencil that's it and I'm going to address before that I'm going to address you can see in the user defined function blocks you can see there are only one boolean input is there percentage i underscore zero that is the only one boolean input but i need two for the start and stop buttons for that add one more boolean input i underscore one and a boolean output also for the output and you can see and we have to address the same numbers i underscore zero is the start button i underscore zero and I underscore zero and here with the I underscore one and go for the output Q underscore zero and here also we have to put the Q underscore zero. So we have created the user defined function block for the DOL chatter and we are going back to the master task in the rung zero and we can put the user defined function we have created the, the udfb1 which is the user defined function block and have to place the udfb1 right here and you can see two input and one output has been placed over here and they have to add two contacts for each start and stop action and the exact output and i'm going to address as percentage i0.0 the normal Schneider addressing i underscore 0 will be the user defined function block addressing here comes with no i q 0.0 and while going to the runtime we are going to run the controller and you can see i'm going to start the control with i0.0 on and off on and off we can see whether it is off the q0.0 will be on and it keeps latched that is the dual starter to unlatch this i have to use the i0.1 on and off that is the dual starter so now we are okay with the digital dual starter we are going to an analog thing and creating a new project for that i am going to create an average function block for an average function block i have to Go to few steps, have to create few parameters for getting the average. So go to the programming and go for the user defined function blocks and right click as usual add new user defined function block and have to create some parameter or local variables. First, you have to get two numbers added for the average. So that would be two parameters param0 and param1 and that should be stored in a variable so we have to add a new variable not parameter 2 that will not be a parameter that will be a variable so the variable i don't need to show that variable because i just need only the uh, average value so i don't need i don't want to display the addition result of the two numbers and one more parameter I have to add that will be parameter 0 1 and 2 one more parameter param 0 param 1 and param 2 will be here param 2 everything will be in the word type if you want to change it to the floating point you can change to float or double it's totally up on you and parameter 0 and 1 will be the two things that will be added and stores the result in variable 0 so I have to add an addition block so go for the operations block and place it over here and the operation expression will be percentage param sorry percentage var variable 0 colon equal to 
percentage param 1 plus percentage param 0 param 1 plus param 0 these are the two things param 0 and 1 these are two things that should be added and stored in the percentage variable 0 stored in the variable memory and that variable 0 should be divided with 2 so you have to use a division block also right here and the expression should be uh, that divided result should be stored in the parameter 2 so percentage param 2 column equal to percentage var 0 divided by 2 so this is the division block and we are getting the result in parameter 2 in the shadow you have to keep in mind that on the left side before the percentage colon equal to on the left side is always stored the result or the destination considering as a move block so i'm going to draw like this so in this parameter things param 0 and variable cannot be accessed in the main program so we have to use a move block to fetch the values or to insert the values so we have to put two operation blocks again and again right below here and draw it we have to create two more blocks for getting the more blocks we have to go for x percentage param 0 so, colon equal to percentage mw0 this is the first move block from mw0 from the memory word 0 the value is moving to the param 0 the value to be calculated the average and the next thing next operation block like that percentage param 1 colon equal to percentage mw1 so from mw1 the second value is moved to the parameter 1 and the value will be will be watching the value in the parameter 2 we will be getting the average value in the parameter 2 so we have to add one more move block for displaying the value so below this and again drawing this we'll be getting the operation result operation expression as percentage mw2 colon equal to because the destination should be always on the left side colon equal to percentage param in param 2 we are getting the result and on the top i have to post use one contact in the name of i underscore zero percentage i underscore zero that will be the activating or the trigger for the average form so we are back to the main program from here and have to use the user defined function block from here and placed and the contact has been added and percentage i0.0 .0 will be the trigger contact and we are going to the runtime for the runtime we have to insert the values through an animation table i'm going to create first you have to start the controller and go to create a new animation table and add our parameters add our value field inputs percentage mw0 and percentage mw1 and percentage mw2 these are the two things that we have to enter the values and mw2 is the result where it is has been stored and and i'm going to uh, give two values uh, that will be four and eight four and the second value should be eight four and eight i'm going to add from here trigger the input and we'll be getting the result as six 4 plus 8 it will be 12 12 divided by 2 it is 6 4 plus 8 divided by 12 the result is 6 so that's why i have created the variable 4 plus 8 12 that i don't want to display the 12 value or the added value that's why i just used the or uh, use the variable 0 for storing the addition result and hope you enjoyed thank you